the uh, for our purposes saline you'll put the saline in there but that would be where you put the medicine there's another pad in there it's brown on the application part um, that's just that's gonna help to push the medicine in so when you're looking at the machine you open it up oh plug your yeah, plug your wire in first to channel one we only use one channel for this machine so channel one you're gonna turn it on okay and on your sheet, it's going to uh, be the very last one on um, yeah, page, uh, yeah, page three, uh, transdermal drug delivery. So it depends how deep uh, the dosage is going to be the first thing you're going to look at. It depends how deep the paint or the tissue is that you want to treat. So we'll say it's superficial, which would be 40. If it was deeper, it would be 80. So depending on if you want to change that, it'll show up and it'll say 40 or eight, uh, on here to start with. And there's little arrows that say dose. So do you want to come closer? Yeah, I'm just kidding. Okay, so you have little arrows here and it says 40. Okay, so if you wanted to change it, you can just go up or down, whatever you need. Once you have it on 40, uh, what do we do next? Oh yeah, we, so then you're gonna go from S1 to set that dosage, you're gonna go to P. P means pause, but you can also think of it as like pre-start. So prior to starting, you need to set the dosage. So similarly on that sheet, um, you're gonna look at under pulse or phase duration, if it's a cathode or anode, it'll tell you uh, the dosage. So because defamexone is negative, we're gonna go with cathode 0.5. And you can change that by turning this first knob here. It says channel one on it, so that'll tell you what to do. Um, so right now it's at 0.4, so you can just see if I change it, it goes up and down, so I can change it to 0.5. Okay, so once you have it on there, you're set on your dosage. Then you can place it on the patient. Thank you're you. gonna put the pad directly on, um, you put it directly on the blue pad where the medicine is, you'll put it directly onto uh, the site of the injury or the pain, okay? And then the other one can go either above or below the site of the pain, okay? You're gonna do the electrode uh, attached to these little guys. Uh, red is positive and black is negative. So we believe if for the dethamexone, Negative, mm -hmm. negative, so you put the black on that one and the red on the other one. Okay, so once you have them properly hooked up, you can go ahead and you can change, there's a top button here, and you're gonna change it to, uh, to R, which means run. You'll see a little uh, green light on the top that's gonna turn on, and that should, it takes 30 seconds to ramp up, so they may not feel anything for 30 seconds. And also you'll hear that beeping. That means, if you hear the beeping, it means you're not really properly connected. So obviously we don't have we the pads. Not properly connected. Yeah, so, but it's so important to know that if that you do have that happen and the pads um, are on the patient in fact, that double check to make sure the electrode is connected properly or sealed down properly to their skin. Otherwise, um, it will give you that beeping. And it'll actually point on the screen, a little finger will point to the channel where the, it's having the problem. So you can try and reset it. So you can just set it back to uh, to pee. To, it will pause the program, and that's about it. And if the patient doesn't like it, it's too noxious. You could turn it down, and it'll automatically adjust the total time for mm -hmm. you. So don't put it higher than they feel comfortable right. with, because 0.5 is the top. You can adjust it down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So based so, on how the patient is feeling. And it doesn't it doesn't change if it's chronic, right? Like what do you do? I don't believe like so. Yeah, With chronic, yeah. on um, the only thing is you might want more time on time. You might go up to 80, but that would be the top anybody would want to do.